let me tell you ladies how to handle Roe v. Wade, the latest fascist oppression from lesbians and homosexual men seeking to marriage and trap through stolen sperm and, of course, the long arm of the law, a corrupt police officer, or a Parisian female political lawyer, a politician's aide seeking to juice the numbers with slave wives for cops. If the comp, of course, is born out of a carnival or creche. If you ladies stand in the bathtub and have prepared the necessary medical aid for a miscarriage, you need a nurse, do this with your arm, a C. Heil, or if you prefer a court swearing it on the Bible. Then you'll have a miscarriage. It's as easy as that. Sometimes an accident in the ancient world, until Counselor Troit, a male attorney working for Elizabeth Battery, assisted her in filling a bathtub with maraschino cherry juice found in grenadine, which can be mixed with Coca-Cola to produce another type of back alley abortion, a Roy Rogers. Look the drink recipe up online. That has to be done within a few weeks, and it's dangerous. Uh, Of course, the problem with Roe v. Wade is that it presumes an abortion has to be a medical solution, as in an actual abortionist, when in fact abortion is a Catholic method of determining breeding compatibility by stealing a child and giving it to an obese woman commonly mentally ill by her own label, using Adderall, a cop antipsychotic for the police, they all use it, and of course producing a fetus for gene testing to see if you're compatible if you have female family for a cop marriage for a marital license. Another rape marriage officer? Why not just pop the baby out the blooper? And if you're a man in a forced marriage, All you have to do is threaten to go to the press before she marries you. Make sure you don't mention the child. Gag orders aren't real in the United States at any age, even for minors. But don't bring that up, it looks too mouthy. Make sure you mention it to a kid they call a cop. Especially from someone calling him a snitch, the real cop of corrections.